Who's, who's here for the first time? If you could play a nice instrumental, I'm going to play minister prophetically. Who's here for the first time? You never had a prophetic word. I want to get you all first. No visitors? No visitors? You're here for the first time. All right. Okay. Can you stand in your name? Grace, um, as, as, as you were worshiping, and I could see your, your, your nationality, you're probably Asian, of a, Korean, I could see that. Now, one of the things, and I heard this even while you were worshiping, that God, is go, God says, I'm about to bridge the gap, and I'm going to use you to be a bridge. I'm going to use you to be a bridge in your community, a bridge to uh, those things that have once been coveted in a bad way. The Spirit of the Lord says, I'm going to use you to be a bridge to give precise information and details and even win others to the Lord. Um, the Spirit of the Lord says, God says, I'm going to send you on a mission trip. I'm going to send you on a mission trip. And you're going to be doing some missionary work. And you're going to be, you're, 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 going, to, uh, you're going to hit a season where you feel that nothing's really happening. But the word of the Lord says, don't go on what you feel or what you see. The spirit of the Lord says, I'm going to give you a knower on the inside. You're going to know beyond all shadow of a doubt that I am working with you and I am working in you. And I just saw where a hand just went over you. And the Lord says, I'm wiping away. I'm wiping some of the past mistakes and some of the past things that have been said over you to stop and block you and truly you're going to move into your land and your 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 place of promises it's a it's a place of promises and divine fulfillment and i'm just seeing where the spirit of god god is bringing relationships together he's bringing relationships some that have been just uh because of some just words of jealousies and things like that and misunderstandings the Lord says, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do some correction. My sister right here in the brown. Yeah. yeah. I see here where there, there are times where you're always trying to explain. And there are times when you're trying to fit in. And the word of the Lord says, I didn't call you to be like the others. I didn't call you to fit in with the others. I've called you and I, I've made you unique in your own person. And so the Spirit of the Lord says, I need you to be comfortable in who you are and don't try to convince people to accept you because I have already accepted you and I'm going to launch you deeper and, uh, and give you a greater understanding of business and even politics. You're going to start loving and getting a little more engaged in business and a little more engaged in politics. So the Lord says, I'm, I'm going to give you wisdom on what's going on behind the scenes, behind the scenes. My brother in the back, yes, right here. You're looking straight at me with the glasses. What's your name? Steve, Steve. Steve. I, I just see where there's... Um, where there are issues where you have been staggering, that you've been staggering in issues and even questioning certain things. And it appears that there's been a, a mountain or obstacles that have always been in your way to stop and block and hinder you. You get to a certain point and then you want to back up, but with, on, the, on the inside of you, you know stopping and giving up is not an option. And so the spirit of the Lord says, now I'm with your, I'm coming in and I'm going to help you. My power is going to begin to work with you, in you and through you to speak to every human obstacle and deal with it. I will strategize and I will put men and women around you in these days to help strategize and you will see things in a very clear way. And then sometimes you tend to be a hammer. You just Bam, bam. There are times the Lord says it's time to put the hammer down for a while because now I'm going to start working with you and I'm going to do more for you within the next 12 months. I'm hearing the number 12. The number 12. 12 months, 12 days, 12 years. The number 12 is going to mean something to you. 
the Lord says, I'm going to start working with you and doing some things for you. And son, I will reward you for your patience. I hear that from the Spirit, oh Lord. I will reward you for your patience. My brother right here on the brown. Your name? Don. Don, you're the person that sometimes you're misjudged. And even there are times in the past where you've been mishandled. And there has been misunderstanding. And now the word of the Lord is, God is saying, I'm correcting some of the mistakes of the past. And where you visit them and people try to remind you of them. The word of the Lord is, it's a new day. And it's a new time. And it's time to start running with the horsemen. Yeah. It's time to start running with the horsemen. God bless you. My sis, sister right here. Your name, please. And I, I see where God is really turning some things around with you. He's turning some things around. God is saying, I'm giving you a new perspective, a new outlook on life. And although you enjoy life, but you're going to begin to enjoy it even the more. Now, I see younger people, younger adults around you. Younger adults around you. Now, the word of the Lord says, now I'm going to give you even a greater heart, a love, and a desire to help bring them fully into the kingdom. And the Spirit of the Lord says, I'm truly giving you the anointing of an Esther to come before my throne and to ask what you will, and it's going to be done says the Lord. And the Lord says, I will cause your family members who once disrespected you to respect you because I have raised you up to be one that will stand like a holder to reveal even judgments and strategies to, to just disseminate and disperse the enemy's plans. For the word of the Lord says, now this is a time where I'm cultivating intercession in you in a brand new way way in a brand new way my brother right here you look around now if you look around i'm going to go to somebody else i tell them that in charleston if you look around <laughs> no it was you but you stand i'm going to get you since you stood you see that's <laughs> what's your name paul 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 what i'm hearing is it's it's a very ripe time for you it's a ripe time for you and there are visions and there are glimpses even into your past that sometimes glimpses into your past that leads you to your future and will lead you to your now. For the word of the Lord is that I'm going to cause you to, there's going to be an elevation and an escalation into the things of God that will catapult you into success principles like never before. All for my glory, says the Lord. For the Lord says the things that I've called you to do, you're going to need some money. You're going to need finances to do them. And I'm going to put them in your hand. I'm going to put them in your hand and I'm going to teach you about money management, says the Lord. The Lord says, even as I taught Solomon about the trees and about the flowers and the walls and the cedars, I'm going to teach you the art of finances and how to get it and bring it into the kingdom and invest it. So you're going and it's not going to distract you from the kingdom. But the word of the Lord is remember, as I bless you, I want you to bless the work. And as you bless the work, I will continue to bless you. The word of the Lord, I'm going to bless you and you're going to be a blessing. You're going to be a blessing and I'm going to be a blessing to you. So there's a double portion. When you give, it's coming back to you. A return, a given return, the art, you're going to be a giver, you're going to be a sower, and you're going to be a reaper. You're going to be a reaper. You're going to be a reaper. So in the next 10 years, in the next 10 years, you're going to be living your dream. You're going to be living the best life. You're going to be living the best life. So line the alignment, spiritual mentorship, spiritual mentorship, 
and not getting involved in unhealthy alliances. Just lift your hands. I'm going to save your life right now. Father, in Jesus' name, any unhealthy alliances that's around him, we cut it off in the name of Jesus. We cut it off. We cut it off. Now, my brother in the black, you stood. Yeah. Now, now he was about to turn around. Now, if you turn around, I'm going to go to somebody else. Right. You see here, where there always appears to be this ground warfare at times. Ground warfare. Now, the word of the Lord is saying, I want to take you to the upper place, the upper chambers where you're no longer dealing with the little imps and the ground warfare and even really concern with what has happened in the past. But what the word of the Lord is saying, I've given you strength to those who don't quite see things the way they should. I've given you and I am giving you strength to help lift the burdens of your family and to bring them into a fuller and a complete understanding of truly what it is of Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ in me. So I hear those words that whenever you're dealing with a situation, remind yourself that Christ Messiah is in me. He is my hope and he is my glory. And I'm not going to sink. My family is not going to sink. For the spirit of the Lord says, I am arresting those things that have once captivated you. And I am calling your family in oneness and alignment. For I have put up, I have put a seal on you. And I'm sealing and I'm causing my angels to protect you and your family and your loved ones. And so I, I just see here... Um, there's been some things going on in the home. There's some things and even activity that is not inspired by God. God says, I'm releasing my angels to deal with them as you are here right now. I'm releasing and I'm doing some things. I'm doing some things. I'm doing some things. Doing some things. I'm doing some things. Who hasn't had a word in a long time? All right. <laughs> she hasn't had a word in a long time. All right. Your name? Heather. Heather, Heather I, I really sense here that it's been uh, sometimes a struggle with people. It's been struggles with people that you have had. And what I'm seeing here, it's not, not that you're as delicate as a butterfly, but the, rear, the word of the Lord is saying, I'm trying, to stre I'm trying to expand and extend your ten pegs. And, and just like a butterfly comes out of the cocoon, the Lord says, I want you to really be you. I want you to really be you. And when I'm saying that here, is you're trying, it appears that the nature, your personality, sometimes you suppress it because you want everyone to just love you and all that. And they're going to love you anyway. But it's when you, you're uniquely and authentically yourself. The Spirit of the Lord says, knowledge, wisdom, insight, and provision is coming to your direction. I see in three months, you're going to begin to do some things. December is going to be a very key time for you. And it's going to be a season where you really, you're, you're really going, it's going to be a really festive time for you. But then it's going to be a time where the word of the Lord says, I will use you to even minister. And I see where there has been certain times here where the death angels tried to come in and take you out before your time. Tried to take you out before your time. But we say there will not be any premature death or any premature accidents in your life and in your family. 
So right now we just go in and we just clear up those blood streams, the, the white and the red blood cells. And even where, where there has, it just seems like uh, what I'm seeing that there's something that's trying to attach itself to your physical heart. And I just say the enemy takes his hands off of it and you, you will be in health from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And some things are going on in your circulatory system, in your backs and in your legs. The Lord is saying healing is your portion. Healing is your portion. The healing power, the healing power of God. Now, who else over here? You said you haven't had a word in a long time. You Let's get the, the Clemson guy. Clemson guy. My campaign signs are uh, burgundy, Gamecock red. Uh, so <laughs> I, took, <laughs> I took one of the guys at the church to a game, and he's rooting for Clemson, and we're all in the Gamecock section. <laughs> and <laughs> he's rooting for Clemson in the Gamecock section. But he, he, this is what I'm saying, seeing here for you. A man of, of compassion, a man of strength, and a man that does not want to really ruffle any feathers. You've always been that one trying to see the good and find the good in people. And sometimes they've taken what it appears to be advantage of you. But I want you to know the word of the Lord says, you were sowing seeds of my love and my person and my personality. And because you gave and you were willing to give and even be that one who was talked about at times, and even times when they people would accuse you of being a coward. But now the word of the Lord says, Son, truly I have loved you, and I am loving you, and my faithful love will never turn back. And because of your faithfulness, because of your dedication in your heart towards me, the Lord says, I'm sending generational blessings and I'm uprooting the squatters that have tried to sat on your land. And I'm causing there to be confusion in the camp of the enemy and those disruptors that comes to disrupt your peace and disrupt your family. And I am sealing what I see, the rainbow of promise, God's covenant of promise. It's just over you right now. It's covenant, God's covenant. And he says, I'm assuring you and I'm confirming my covenant to you. Who else? Who else that they didn't have? You haven't had a word in a long time. A long time. Stand. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Um, I, I'm hearing the, the word of the Lord. It says, I'm turning some things around. It's been a long journey. And it's been painful at times. It's been painful. And sometimes you blame yourself. And the word of the Lord is, I want you to stop the blame game. And those who did you wrong, if they knew better, they would do better. And so now, the Lord is saying, I'm going to give you strength for the next phase of your life. And I'm going to give you that peace that will go beyond your reason and your understanding. And this is the hour and this is the season where you will receive the restoration of your soul. The restoration of your soul. Psalms 23. He restores my soul and leads me beside the quiet waters. So the Spirit of the Lord says, as I restore your soul, I will start leading you in the quiet waters. And I see where those waters in those times are getting a little quieter. And that sea is now calm. Peace, peace. The shalom, the shalom of God. So we release the shalom and the peace of God over your life and over your family. Who else haven't had a word in a long time? Your sister right here. Yes. Let's see, you almost didn't stand. 
and, and prophetically, I'm going to tell you, sometimes what we do in the natural is a sign of what's going on in the spiritual. And what I'm hearing from the Lord is a lot of times when it was your time, you sat back and you let someone else walk into your time. But what I'm hearing now, the Lord says, I am opening the gates. I'm opening the gates and I'm going to cause you to walk into your destiny. I'm going to cause you to walk into your destiny because it's not over for you yet. It's not over for you yet. The Lord says, although you may say, well, I've done this, I've done that. The Lord says it's not anything compared to what I'm about to do and what I'm about to reveal in you. And the Lord says, even as I was with Jeremiah, I will be with you. And this is your time of truly flourishing. And although you are an intercessor where you've carried the burdens and sometimes you're carrying the burdens of others. Now, where the word of the Lord is saying, no longer take those things so at heart. And I need you to just begin to cast your cares, just cast cast them off cast them off now i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to take just a couple minutes with you this is something that i teach the church here when we when we get to a point and the lord is telling me to do this to you right now uh do this with you right now pain or uh, discontentment we just give it to the lord whatever comes to your mind that sometimes make you feel a little antsy at times Right now, just give it to the Lord. Whatever it is, everything, give it to Him. Pull it in, give it to Him. Whatever you're holding on your give, give it to Him. Go ahead, take it and continue to give it to Him. And when you give Him everything, who is left? The Messiah in you. The you that has been created in the image and the likeness of God. And that's where God wants you to be. That place called there in his presence in his presence in his presence who else haven't had a word in a long time all right we'll see you you you're this couple becky all right you're the clarks all right now with the lord is saying i want you to really hear because god is going to start downloading downloading the teachings that you've been hearing and God said, it is not by accident that you are here and you located and you're living here. Because now I'm going to really take you through the mentorship process, the mentorship and mentoring you all in the things of the spirit, mentoring you in true and discernment, mentoring you and even in prosperity. And the Lord is saying, you're going to begin, you're going to take even this ministry and the vision, you're going to begin to take it. You're going to start taking more of the load and more of the burden. And they're going to spend a little more time in prayer. And you're going to truly have it covered, covered. So the Lord says you're going to start doing things with a, a greater level of persistence, a greater level, and not saying that you don't have it, but just I hear a greater level of integrity, a greater level of purpose, a greater level of determination. And there is someone that, it, that owes you some things, some broken vows and broken promises. I want you, the word of the Lord is let it go because I'm going to do more for you than what they ever could do for you. So now the year I'm hearing in two years, in two years, God says, you're going to be, you're going to start ministry. You're going to start, uh, you're, you're going to start doing things. I'm even going to cause you to be a scribe and you're going to start writing some things. You're going to go back and you're going to redig some of the old wells that your father had, that he dug and someone else closed them. The Lord says, it's going to be a re-digging. So I'm releasing the spirit of the Lord. It says, I'm releasing an Isaac anointing on you. 
that the Philistines and the enemies or anyone around you will not, will never be able to stop you. Now, it's so interesting at this particular time I heard Isaac and Rebekah. I think that is the greatest love story in the Bible. It's the greatest love story in the Bible. When you really know it, when Eliezer went to get Rebekah, it says Rebekah was riding on the horse and her veil fell off. Isaac glanced her. And he went there. At this particular time, Sarah was dead. And he took her in Sarah's tent. And the glory of the Lord, the tent lit up. And Isaac knew that was a person. So Rebecca took on the mantle of Sarah of purity and began to mother and steward a nation. And so the Lord is saying, I am calling you and I will cause you all to steward my presence. I will cause you to steward finances. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, oh, people will give to you like you never thought. Imagine, because there are times in Christian image where we feel or we get this sense that if we live by the gospel, it's not as prestigious as other careers. But the word of the Lord says, son and daughter of mine, I'm going to lift you up above, above your fellows. And I just see you being lifted up and the spirit of the Lord just washing away the old and new life as he breathed new life new life into Adam and he became a living spirit the Lord says I'm breathing new life and I'm breathing in your identity your identity your identity and your purpose that's for the two of you this young man in the green who else hadn't had a word in a long time? I'm going to get to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get to you. How much time do I have? Am I running now? All right. This young man. Now, in the natural, I want you to know this here. God is saying, I'm at this particular point in your life, I'm going to begin to couple wisdom and knowledge with your charisma. With your charisma. Because it's not hard for you to get a person's attention, but sometimes it's a battle to keep their attention. So the Lord is saying now, you will, I, I will give you wisdom. I will give you knowledge far beyond your years. And there's just something that I, I really sense. There, there's a move that you're about to make and there's a red light. That's not the door. It's a red light. But in the next, I would say, three, 40 to 30 days, God says there's going to be a channel that I will open for you. So don't be discouraged by this particular one. But there's more and other doors that will have a rippling effect and will open. It will open. And, will all, and it's going to all lead you to that place of divine influence and favor. Favor. I'm hearing that word. Favor. Things that you didn't work for. But the Lord says, I made your parents a promise. And I'm going to honor that promise. And you will be the seed that will come forth and bring my presence, my purpose, and a greater level of understanding of who I truly am, the I am, the I am. And you're going to deal with money as well. You're going to deal with money. You're going to deal with money. Accounting, things of that nature, banking, 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 investment, real estate. I'm just throwing some of these things out. I'm just throwing these out. I'm just blessing, blessing you. And man, you're gonna be you're gonna be a very wealthy person. 
You're gonna be you're gonna be a very wealthy person. My sister right here. What's your name again? Elsie. Nelsie. 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 As as you were dancing, um, the the spirit of the Lord says, truly you pierce through and you break through and you've always been that person that were there for that was there for others and it sometimes it appears that when you look back you were standing alone and the word of the Lord says I don't want you to ever think of yourself as standing alone because I've been with you all along says the Lord and the Lord says there are times where you started from nothing and you 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 grew in the things of God now I wish I had a staff or something with David I mean with Jacob went to his uh, went to his uncle Levin and when he came back he said I came across this Jordan with my staff alone and now I've become two companies so the Lord the word of the Lord is increase increase and even as you have seen many things in your life and it appears that every time you, you were going in the right direction, it appeared as someone was trying to take it from you or take you out of that place. The Lord says, now I'm bringing forth an alignment, an, an alignment. And there's coming an elegance and a precision and a preciseness. And I'm giving you the eyes of an eagle that you will see those that are against you and you know exactly what to do. You will see those that are for you. But the interesting thing, the Lord says, even the ones that are against you, I'm going to give you a word for a word to sustain them, a word to sustain them. And your enemies will begin to be at peace with you. Your enemies will begin to be at peace with you. You don't tell me when to stop. All right. Who, who else? Let me get this person the camera. Because a lot of times the ones who work a lot, they, they are um, missed. So, sis, what's your name? Rebecca. Rebe Rebecca? <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca, what, what I'm hearing from the Lord is uh, I'm lightening the load. I'm lightening the load. And there are times when you feel that you've had the weight of certain, the weight of the world and sometimes the weight of your family. And the word of the Lord is saying, I'm breaking, I'm taking the yoke. I'm taking the yoke of the oppressor off your shoulders and I'm calling you into a place of, of just a settlement and settling a settling and it's not time to retire it's time to refire the lord says I, i'm calling you to pull some of those things out of your arsenal i'm calling you to really rejoice and be uh, uh, exceedingly joyful because great is your reward in this coming year i see as we move into october it's going to be a time and a season where you're going to sit down with your family members in some historical things and some ancient things that have once ailed your family. The word of the Lord says, I'm going to give you wisdom to deal with those things that have been oppressing and has been like an impressive yoke in your family for generations and generations. And the Lord says th that during that time, I will begin for a season. It will appear a couple of days where you'll be in shut in and you'll be in a place of silence and even consecration to me. And it's there. I will reveal the strategies and the tactics of the enemy. But then with the tactics of the enemy, the Lord says, I will begin to reveal to you the covenant and the destiny and the dynasty of your lineage and of your family. For the Lord is saying, no longer look so much at even the tactics or the strategies of the, and the plans of the enemy, but look at your destiny and your dynasty, this dynasty and the continual success of your family coming into the fullness and the knowledge of God. That's it. Amen. God bless you all.